And with that, Hampton the snowy owl was sent soaring through the sky with a crowd of photographers snapping away. Around early March, she was found hurt on the side of Route 101. I could tell right away, and I knew something was wrong. Peter Gray was the one who came across Hampton. And I called Fish and Game, and they came down and tried to catch him, and they said, yeah, there's something wrong. And they were right. Hampton had lead poisoning, a hairline fracture in her wing, trauma to her head, as well as other injuries. She was brought to bird rehabilitator Jane Kelly. We treated her for her fractured wing and then gave her vitamin K, vitamin E, and, you know, just let her build up strength and put on weight. Snowy owls frequently visit during the winter, but are otherwise rare to New Hampshire. It seems to be a four-year cycle. It's called an eruption, and it's based on the, the food chain, a lemming population. So four years ago we saw, you know, an eruption of them and then they tapered off and now we're seeing that wave again. As for this snowy owl, she'll likely take a breather in the marsh before she begins her journey north back home to the Arctic. An animal is in the need of help and uh, many people, you know, banded together, organizations and word was out and looking and uh, worked out good in the end. In Hampton Falls, I'm Tim Callery, WMUR News 9.